India is embarking on an extraordinary journey of reinventing its railway system. But what exactly their goal is? To transform its humble rail network into a modern marvel with the introduction of a high-speed rail system. This new system boasts a remarkable top speed of nearly 200 miles per hour, more than doubling the speed of current Indian trains. This advancement means that the travel time between Mumbai and Ahmedabad could be reduced drastically, from a lengthy nine hours to just about two hours. But this project is more than just about speed and reducing travel time. It's a reflection of India's broader goals to emerge as a fully developed nation and to be a global superpower. Creating a high-speed rail network that efficiently connects major cities and regions is crucial for India's aspirations. However, there's a challenge. Despite six years since the project's inception, significant progress remains elusive. We delve into the reasons behind the prolonged construction of India's first bullet train and explore potential solutions for moving forward. India's railway network, one of the largest in a rapidly growing economy, presents a stark contrast. As the country progresses economically, its rail system struggles to keep pace. Characterized by slow, overcrowded, and outdated trains, it stands in sharp contrast to the high-speed railways of neighboring countries. Home to the world's fourth largest railway network, India's rails stretch across about 70,000 kilometers, moving over a billion tons of freight and transporting more than 8 billion passengers. With a population now exceeding even China's, India heavily depends on this vast network. Traveling across India presents challenges, not just by train, but also on its notoriously congested roads, often leading people to opt for domestic flights. The railway system, over 160 years old, and one of the oldest globally, faces safety issues, with accidents frequently making international headlines. In June 2023, India witnessed a tragic train disaster in Odisha due to a signaling error, causing a massive collision and derailment of three trains, leading to numerous fatalities and injuries. Despite these incidents, the railway remains vital for millions without other transport options and continues to be a key mode of transportation. These events have sparked debates on the safety and aging infrastructure of India's railways. In response, India is making strides in transportation with the construction of a high-speed rail system, inspired by Japan's renowned network. This remarkable project includes elevated viaducts and undersea tunnels, symbolizing India's potential as a global leader. The high-speed route connects Mumbai and Ahmedabad, cutting across approximately 500 kilometers with 12 new stations, offering a swift alternative to the arduous road journey between these economic hubs. This groundbreaking project features Shinkansen trains, mirroring those on Japan's famous railways, known for their speed, safety, and environmentally friendly operations. They contribute to reduced carbon emissions with energy-efficient features and regenerative braking systems. The question now is how India will execute this ambitious rail project, particularly when it aims to connect endpoints, including a city home to over 20 million people. It's important to note that around 92% of this rail track will be raised on viaducts and bridges. This design choice brings several advantages, including allowing the railway to cross rivers and existing structures while reducing environmental impact and potentially simplifying the process of land acquisition. A significant engineering hurdle arises at Thane Creek, just east of Mumbai. This large water inlet is the only point along the route where a major water body presents an obstacle. Instead of an elevated path, the decision was made to go underground. The construction begins with drilling and blasting for excavation, followed by installing ground supports and reinforcements. These are then covered with a concrete shell, complete with a waterproof lining. This leads to the creation of India's first undersea rail tunnel, an impressive seven kilometer long engineering marvel. The entire underground portion of the project extends over 21 kilometers. This single tunnel accommodates two trains, running in opposite directions, and requires a substantial diameter of 13 meters. The overall budget for this ambitious project is estimated at 1.1 lakh crore, roughly equivalent to 14 billion US dollars. A significant chunk of the funding, 81% of the total cost, is financed through a substantial aid from the Japan International Cooperation Agency. This financial aid comes in the form of a 50-year loan of 1.5 trillion Japanese yen with an incredibly low interest rate of 0.1%. It includes a grace period of up to 15 years for repayment. The governments of Maharashtra and Gujarat are responsible for the remaining financial contributions. 
The strategic partnership with Japan in this venture is further highlighted by Japan's agreement to supply 20% of the corridor components, which will be both procured from Japan and manufactured in India. This collaboration marries Japan's technological prowess with India's local production capabilities. India has a clear strategy for its ambitious bullet train project, but it's facing several hurdles along the way. The project has made over 30% progress, but the initial deadline of 2022 has been extended to at least 2028 due to various challenges. While elevating the tracks on piers has eased some land acquisition issues, a common bottleneck in railway projects, it hasn't completely resolved them. As of early 2022, land acquisition was nearly complete in Gujarat, but only 75% done in Maharashtra, primarily due to legal disputes. Both areas have since nearly reached 100% acquisition, though later than planned. Additionally, a political shift in Maharashtra brought an anti-bullet train coalition to power for a time, raising questions about who benefits most from the project. They argued for traditional rail projects that might serve a broader population. Although the political stance has since shifted back in favor of the bullet train, debates about its inclusivity and reach continue. The high-speed rail will need to attract substantial passenger numbers, estimated at around 50 million annually, to justify its large investment. This raises the question, is India right to focus on a new high-speed railway when there are ongoing issues with existing infrastructure? A significant part of India's infrastructure budget is allocated to road construction, crucial to the country's comprehensive infrastructure plan. This plan aims to extend infrastructure to rural areas, helping to alleviate poverty, create jobs, and boost economic growth between cities and towns. Such efforts could establish India as an infrastructure leader globally. The government envisions the bullet train as the start of a nationwide network that will enhance the tourism sector and accelerate economic growth. However, it's also crucial to offer affordable and reliable transportation alternatives, hence the focus on improving road infrastructure. This balanced development in infrastructure could earn India recognition as a global infrastructure enthusiast. While the bullet train project in India is progressing at a slower pace than anticipated, the potential benefits it promises are undeniably thrilling. Soon, India will stand among the nations with this advanced infrastructure, paving the way for a transformation in its transportation landscape. What are your views on India prioritizing other architectural projects before finalizing their inaugural bullet train? Share your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video, and if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for more fascinating updates. Catch you in our next video.